What's going on YouTube? Costin here from the Troubled Pack. Um, you guys have been asking, or not a lot of you, but a couple of you guys um, who know that I, um, I did get a couple invites to this deck last season, uh, have wanted to see my take on it, um, which is really cool. I appreciate you guys thinking about that. It makes me feel good about myself when people want my opinion. Um, so I think this is pretty good. I threw this together yesterday. I had a lot of people help me build it, um, but I shifted some stuff around afterwards. And this is my own personal take. I took it to locals today. I went 5 0, beat two blue, uh, blue eyes, one metal foes, one BA, and one. It was like uh, gadgets, but it was also playing Galaxy Soldier. So, yeah, um, I don't know really what to call that other than that. Uh, I'll get into it. The matchups uh, I went first against blue eyes both games. I don't remember. I think I went first against everybody except the gadget player. So, that made it a lot easier. Going first with this deck is really just something I prefer to do always um, because you can I did I every single hand I open up the, the full loop so that's proving the consistency at least for tonight of the deck and um, I mean I went 5-0 2 would let's see I went to game three against one of the blue eyes players but everybody else I 2 would so that's saying something I think the deck's pretty consistent um, I really like it so far I'm not gonna explain too many of the monster effects that are well known. Uh, there's nothing that's unknown, but I'll explain some decisions. Three sorcerer, that's standard. One joker, standard. Let me see if I can do anything about this cool air. All right, that's a little bit better. One second donkey because it, it is. I've never played this and not resolved this um, in the entire time of me playing this. That's including last format. So if that's saying anything to convince you to play second donkey, uh, I mean that's, he's really good. He's just a second joker. Um, but it's when he, you can do it when he's pendulum summon too, so it's even better. Um, good turtle at one. I just don't like two anymore. Um, he just sits in this in the scale and it's cloggy. Two lizard draw, two silver claw. I'm playing three alert. He's a level four. He's a high scale. His effects makes him a 2100 beater, so he gets over Kieran. I know Kieran's at one, but still it forces them to either out it or have it get destroyed. So it's good. And it's a lure target, so that's fantastic. So yeah. And then one of each of the odd eyes, high scale, low scale. That's it for the Performer Pals. 3 Abductor, this card is the reason why this deck is still very viable, um, or at least a very big reason. Uh, I've thought about cutting it to 2, but it's just too important to open this. If you open this, um, you're more than likely going to be able to get its effect off, and if you open this in like a Sorcerer or the Luster and you can search the other one, you're going to win you know, like 95% of the time. 1 Kirin, this is probably the card that's most likely to get cut from this deck. And I know I say that, and a lot of you might be like, well, it's Kieran, why do you... It's super good. Um, it just doesn't really help in the progression of my game state. Of course, it's very good as an individual card, uh, but I only have three. I have two Eccentric and one Unicorn. Those are the only times I um, can Pendulum it out. Of course, I, I really can Tribute it out, um, and I, I have had the opportunity to do that a lot. I usually just don't want to do it. So it's good. Um, obviously it's a fantastic card. I don't know if it'll stay though. I'm being completely honest. Um, two eccentric. This card won me a game against Blue Eyes. He had Infinity and Chaos Max on the field and, uh, like a Manju. Uh, summon the eccentric, force him to use the Infinity Negation, and then I proceeded to do the loop with, uh, this guy, Ignister, and that was it for him. Um, speaking of... Draco Slayers and such. This is what I'm playing. I'm not playing Painful Decision or Brilliant Fusion. I think uh, uh, Painful Decision is less cloggy if you're playing three of these and maybe like two of these. Um, but I'm only playing one of those. Um, Brilliant Fusion makes it so you can, like if you're playing two and you want to play one of those, I would recommend playing Brilliant Fusion because you don't need to play three of these. But it is honestly more cloggy and it gives you more dead cards after turn one. Um... But they both do the same thing. They both add this to the hand, so that's pretty much it. Painful Decision is probably a little bit better, but at the same time, uh, I, I don't really know. Honestly, I can't make up my mind which I think is better, because Painful Decision literally pretty much just makes this so you're able to loop with Dynaster pretty easy too. But I don't like playing them in this because I just don't have room for, so, for one, and I'd rather just open cards that are always alive. Um, one of each of these for the Draco face-off stuff. Then for the Dark Build, this is fantastic. There was a time where I opened this, um, another one another scale, I believe it was Master, Pendulum Rising, and Abductor. 
Um, and I know that's not a very, and one other card, um, I think is, it, it might have been, uh, the Silver Claw. Um, no, I didn't open this, I opened Foolish. Um, so I was able to get one counter off uh, Abductor with the Foolish, um, then one off the Master being in the zone, uh, bounced it back, summoned Zephyros, get my, uh, I believe I Pendulum Rising for um, Luster, and then from then on, uh, I was able to continue doing the loop. So this made it live, it opened my skills, I was able to get a search off of Doctor. it was pretty good. I really like this card. I think Zephyrus is really, really good in this. Three Alert, this makes this deck really, really fast, still very consistent. Um, I chose to do consistency over traps, I don't play any traps. So yeah, so this is my draw power, um, I pretty much always get to what I need. Uh, and that's like, that's not a lie. I just pretty much always get to what I need. Um, not a lot of dead hands. I open the loop every single turn, or not the one time I open, not the full loop. But I mean, it was still like, uh, it was good enough. Um, obviously, this look at them German terraformings, land forming. Um, pretty good. Trickle face off. And if you want an explanation, I know a lot of people have already put this up. It's actually better to open up terraforming than it is Skyrus with Abductor because you actually, like, it's impossible to not get, um, in this deck because I'm not playing any traps. It's impossible. If you open up this, you're getting your search off Abductor. If you open them together, Draco face off, self explanatory, unexpected eye. Then these three. This could be, um, this really could be an instant fusion, but this is better to resolve in this deck, plus I have five targets, I believe. So if you resolve this, it actually helps your progression of the game state um, in for your OTKs and just for looping and getting your pendulum action going way better than instant fusion did, so I opted to play this. Plus it leaves me a little more room in the extra deck. Really, there should be an odd ice fusion in here. Um, I just don't have one at this point, but I really I haven't missed it. Um, so yeah, that's the main deck, 40 cards. Extra deck, Ignister. Two Dynaster, Hope Harbinger, Two Magister. Uh, these are the cards, I mean, these are the loop, pretty much. Uh, these are the cards that you can go into from the loop, and it really just depends on what you're playing against. Blue Eyes, I always go into this. I mean, this literally shits on Blue Eyes. They can't do shit against it. Um, I, I just, like, this negates, this isn't all oh, once per turn, so you stop two of their summons, um, and you have Hope Harbinger in the field, they're not going to be able to do anything. It's like, Unless they have something ridiculous hand. Uh, I can't even really think of one that would be able to get around this. Um, it's just too good. Um, giant hand, just in case. I mean, this is pretty good open. Um, and this is, if you know you're playing against Burning Abyss, this pretty much concludes the victory for a while. This is um, in here because after you set up your field, so your first turn field should look like, I'm just going to present it as if I was playing against Blue Eyes, should look like, this with materials on it. Um, next turn, you can summon without even pendulum summoning. You can get your uh, master or luster, whatever you have from your extra decks. Normal summon something. You typically have an uh, an archfina centric in hand. So if you were playing something that had back row, I usually just add archfina centric because it can get rid of multiple problems. Um, and then you can just make diamond direwolf without using uh, your pendulum summon. Pop. That's two pops right there. Typically, that should be able to do it. Um, or, I mean, that just eats through back row. And if they have, like, if they're playing Demise, this probably wouldn't be a Roach. But it's still, like, you're eating through back row, and that's good. So, yeah, I just think the Diamond Dire Wolf's really good. Two Castell. I, already, I think I put some of these back. I already went through these. Yeah. Uh, all right, these are the ones I was showing you. This, just because it gets big, I got a Cowboy and King of the Feralms. Because... Honestly, King of the Feralms uh, can really get you out of tight spots. Uh, there are times where I open up a turtle, and I can make this. Um, there are times when you open up really, really bad stuff. If you like, if you open up a good, just a good turtle, and uh, let's just say either Rota or um, Armageddon Knight, you can uh, make this and then get your your turtle draw like pot of duality play. So it's worth playing just for that reason. Um, the side deck, which is really bad, I honestly, at Locals, I haven't been siding, and the reason is, if I go first, I typically don't side because it's not worth siding for me to go to game two, because game three, I really feel like I just win it, um, and a lot of times, this deck's just so consistent that I would rather the chance, like, chance them bricking and me opening up something that's very playable, but at, that's, at a real event, I probably would side. Um, my side deck really isn't up to par with what it should be because I'm missing lighting prisonings, but Maxis, they're German too, so pretty cool. 
These are for Burning Abyss. I don't know if I'm going to play this anymore. Uh, I think that's pretty bad. This I haven't really updated my side deck in a while, like I said. Three of this. Um, I don't know if I need Typhoons and Mystical Space Typhoons. And this definitely needs, like, I'm not worried about Cosmos. Um, so, yeah. But those are ideas. So, guys, um, let me know what you think. This is an original build, 40 card main deck, um, 28 monsters, 12 spells. Let me know what you think. Subscribe, hit the like button. If you're not going to hit the like button for this, hit the like button for the case that I'm about to get. Um, I'm really excited to do that. I've never opened anything of that uh, size on my channel, so I really think that'll be fun. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.